All right, the guns I got out today are a Smith & Wesson and a Ruger. The Smith & Wesson is model 29.2. It was made in 1975, and it's got a six and a half inch barrel on it. And it weighs out at right about three pounds. And then I've also got Ruger's Red Hawk. Now this one here was from uh, 1982. It's got a five and a half inch barrel, and it weighs out just a little over three pounds. Let's take a few shots. All right, so now I'm going to give you guys some close-ups uh, shooting at this, uh, again, 5 8 thick uh, piece of uh, steel plate. And we're going to start with shooting with uh, Smith & Wesson Model 29 44 mag. All right, first shot, hit kind of low here. Definitely puts an indent in that thing. Again, I'm hitting low left. They are grouped very well. I guess I don't want to shoot too far to the middle because I'm afraid of uh, hitting my camera. That wouldn't be good, would it? There we are, again, the grouping. All right, so again, I don't know if you can see the grouping on top of those, um, but they're all together, Smith & Wesson 44 mag. Such a hard hit, it you know, the way that it indents is 5 8 thick piece of steel. You can see the uh, little dent on the back of it. So now what I'll do is turn it around and we'll Shoot the Ruger Red Hawk 44 mag. Wow, flip that sucker up and around. Looks like we had, uh, we hit it high. Hit it high, that's what it was. But again, 44 is a 44. See the dent, dent that thing put in it. Again, right on top of the other one. So I'm hitting high, high and left. Looks like you got hit a little low left in the middle. So we're sticking over here. Right in the middle. Ruger Red Hawk 44 mag. All right, so we popped off a couple rounds now. I just wanted to talk about a couple of the differences on the two guns. On our Smith & Wesson, our front sights are permanent. And on the Ruger, they're interchangeable. Also, uh, the cylinder release on the guns is different. Here on the Smith & Wesson we're just pushing it forward and on the Ruger it's being pushed in. Uh, they're both stainless and then um, one of the only other differences is uh, the trigger tension. On our Smith & Wesson we've got our leaf springs and on our Ruger we've got coil springs. And also, when pulling apart the, uh, the Smith & Wesson, we've got our two screws here that we're going to pull and the side's going to come off. And as for on our Ruger, it comes apart from the bottom. This, the trigger here is going to slide out instead of out this way here. Again, uh, they're both awesome guns. A couple rounds, the Smith & Wesson Model 29-2.
got six more rounds to pop off, and we'll be shooting it with our uh, Ruger Red Hawk. Thanks for watching, guys.